I don't want to have uh, subtitles on this video, so I want to do a voiceover. Excuse with the quality of uh, audio that you might have on this video. The previous night, uh, when this video was made, we were staying somewhere near Perambur. and uh, the plan is to go to Arsatrapalli and we were taking the roads not the easiest one to get to Arsatrapalli but the scenic one the locals helped us There were so many places where we were, would have been misled if not for the Google Maps. But still, though after uh, relying on the Google Maps, we still have to stop at many places, find the route, the correct route back. And we were behind this uh, particular school bus for so long. There were kids in that. They were dancing to some songs within the that's playing within the bus, and uh, we had a very good time following this bus, waving hands at them, and for quite some time, I guess it all ended somewhere near. Um, Angamali I didn't immediately cross the bus though I was waiting for my own sweet time following the bus just because I was afraid to and moreover uh there's so much of uh, drama happening inside the bus so it kept us entertained for some time kept me entertained because i was solo on the bike though so kerala has uh, so many such beautiful churches on the way and the canals that has uh, water flowing from the rivers there And this is one such junction. I believe it's Sangamali. Yeah. So we were to uh, we were given two options: one to reach Chalakudi and then take a right, and another is through this uh, Angamali and then keep uh, following the map and asking the locals wherever we got confused. There is one such bridge. I don't know exactly the name of the river that flows underneath, but there were so many other bridges that had come in this route. The smaller ones I had skipped. The bigger ones I intentionally wanted to keep part of this video so local people might notice the place. Here again, I believe we made a stop. Yeah. He asked a passerby, and I even uh, took the Google Map out to see where exactly the road continues to, and how it says one hour, twelve minutes from this particular point. This is well before COVID times. I guess I should have mentioned this uh, during the start of the video. So 
we kept going 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 and there's so much fun riding in this smaller narrow roads and one thing to keep in mind that the accidents in kerala are too scary for something uh, happened down south because uh, you would have seen many such uh, cctv footages of uh, accidents or uh, videos that surface on the internet that kerala have the maximum crazy number of accidents because the roads are too narrow but it was fun to ride in such roads we just have to be a little careful that the normal roads that the other places have and finally we arrived at uh, this place which is more like an entrance to the forest uh, section that uh, that is before Dhatrapalli so at the end of this uh, um, you can call it a lake yeah at the end of this lake stretch I don't know if it's a river or a lake though the local might have to come in sorry I didn't notice and I believe it's more like two or three times uh, we have crossed this place but I haven't noticed if it's a lake or a river so at the end of this road which is parallel to the water body the forest uh, route starts and I'll be making a video of uh, probably in two parts the forest uh, section is very interesting because it's it's one such unique road uh, the route is um, very good probably you can watch it for yourself in the upcoming videos so stay tuned and uh, enjoy stay home stay safe keep watching my videos and if you're new here please subscribe and support and see you in the next video thank you